Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome to a special bonus episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Well, some of you hinted at this in the comments section, but there is actually a way to save Sid uh, and make it so that he doesn't die. And I'm going to show you how to do that here in this episode. Okay, so Celeste needs to go catch some fish. So before I push the A button and get going, I want to explain kind of the mechanics of this little mini-game. It's not really a mini-game, but it kind of sort of is. So, kind of go over this a little bit. Now, as soon as we get started, uh, you won't see this counter, but Sid starts with a health bar of 120, and the goal is to get him up to 256. Now, the way that we do that is by getting the fish quickly and getting them to Sid. Now, there's three kinds of fish, and we'll go over that real quick. Okay, so Sid gets into bed. Now we need to go start finding fish. Let's go. So every second that ticks by, his health is starting to fade. Okay, now we want to catch the fastest fish that we can. If they're moving at a somewhat rapid rate, we can pick them up. And the, the medium moving fish are worth 16 points each. And the, and the, the effects are uh, cumulative. All right, so he eats that, and we gave him 32 health. Okay. So we've got a little bit more work to do, so his, his health's starting to fade a little bit. So let's see if we can go get it. Now, if you immediately see, uh, don't pick up the slow fish, because the slow fish actually reduce the health bar by 16. So let's... Okay, so I, I can't seem to shake this thing. It means that it's getting better. All right. So let's see if we can find this fish there. So, all right, so a couple more medium fish. If And you got to be kind of quick here. So, the part, part of winning this minigame is actually a little bit of luck involved with winning this minigame. And honestly, this minigame has no effect on the storyline at all. Whether he lives or dies... Okay, so that means his health is decreasing. That's not good. Um, whether he lives or dies, it has absolutely zero effect on the outcome of the game. Okay, there's a really fast fish there. You want to try and pick that up? That fish is worth 32 points... Uh, to his health. So the fastest fish are the best ones. We definitely want to try and give those to the, to him. Now, hopefully that one will give him 48. Okay, there we go. So that's a little bit better. Uh, the medium fish will either increase his health bar by 16 or decrease it by 4. And a really slow fish decreases it by 16. Okay, so that's a medium one. Uh, I bet we can find better. Let's go down here. And, okay. Now, Okay, is he coming this way? So hopefully this will work. Okay, thank you. We'll pick that up there. And get the fish. Okay, so well, that helped a little bit. And if there's no good fish, what you're going to want to do... Okay, there's a fast one. That's good. So we want to pick that one up. All right, come here. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Fishy, fishy, fishy! On one fish? <laughs> That'd be a good, that's a good time to use that clip. Eh, that's a, can we get that one? There we go. Ooh, this could be good. This might be a definite boost for Sid there. Now, I'm using this... Uh, I'm not putting on sprint shoes, because in the original version of this, this is your speed when you have sprint shoes on. Ugh. Okay, well, it's not getting better, but... And this mini game can actually take a while to win. So, be patient. Nope, get in bed. Thank you. Ugh. So, I mean, it, it really is a pain in the ass to win this minigame. And, okay, so really slow fish happens. So what you're going to want to do, if that's the case, is go on into the world map. Time does not, in Sid's health bar does not, in, or does not go down when you're on the world map. So, you can quickly jump onto the world map. Okay, no good fish there either. So let's get back on the world map. Yeah, I mean, I really do hate this mini game. Ugh. Okay, maybe you have to go into the house. Maybe that will trigger a new fish. No. no that's, I don't want to give him the slow fish because that's going to decrease his health bar. But I might not have a choice. Okay, so that means his health bar is going down. 
and that's not good. So, like I said, this I really do hate this minigame. And it's it, you know, in my opinion, it's it's almost not worth it to win it because it takes so long. So I can just keep doing this back and forth, and eventually his health will become uh, really good. So there you are. I think I mentioned that the really good fish gives you 32 points. The medium gives you either plus 16 or minus 4. And then the really slow one gives you minus 16. And the goal is to get him to 256. That's essentially how this works. So, Ugh. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and forth now and keep doing this until we get the message uh, that we want. There. Okay. Come here, fishes. Come here, fishes. Hey, good. Sid's starting to feel a little bit better. So that means that we're doing good. Let's see if we can keep it up. Hey, there's another new message there. Thank you for taking care of me like this day after day, which means he's getting even more better. I put on the uh, sprint shoes to kind of speed this thing up because, you know, I'm just, I want to get this stupid mini game over with. Come here. Come here, fish. Nope. Nope. Okay, that's taking too long. If it, if it ever if it is ever taking too long, just go and run in and give him the fish there. Awesome, very good. Hey, you can feel his strength returning. Fantastic, man. We are definitely on the right path. Then he, that means he's almost ready to go there. All right, if we catch one more of these really fast fish, he should be. He should be back to max health. Yeah, I'll give him this one, too, just to be safe. Now, this should put him over the top. If I've done this correctly. All right, and we've managed to save Sid. Woohoo! Where are you going there, Sid? Oh. And he unlocks this for us. Well, let's go take a look. All right, now let's get rid of this uh, spring shoot there. All right, and if you go down here, now you get access to the raft. And Sid follows us. Well, what about you, Sid? What are you going to do? Oh, great. <laughs> she recognizes that, or Sid recognizes that uh, Celeste and Locke are a thing. And we wave, uh, wave goodbye. All right, and then we just jump on the raft, and then we head over to the main island, just like we did when Sid died. So there's really no benefit. You don't get any other items uh, for winning this mini game. And the reason that I like to have Celeste uh, or Sid die, I think it adds another dimension to Celeste's character, and it's a little more dramatic. I feel like it gives you a little bit more to live for when you hear that, you know, there's proof that Locke is alive. In this one, you don't really know if Locke's alive or not. In the other one, you really know who he is because of the bandana. And this just gives you more hope for the future. So, anyways, that's how you win the minigame. Uh, it's a stupid minigame. I hate it. You get no... It takes a long time. It's much easier to just let him die. I don't mean to be insensitive, but... It's just much easier to let him die. I think, it, I think he was intended to die, honestly. And then, you know, Celeste just washes up right there just like normal. And now you can walk around on the world map, so... There you go. But yeah, I think Sid was intended to die, uh, but the, the game gives you that option there. It's much, much harder to get him to live. But anyways, just wanted to show you that there. Uh, uh, in the next episode, we will definitely continue on with the story. But until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. And I, oh, by the way, I'm going to continue on as if Sid had died. So, but until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter, BCS Buster LP. Check out my blog. Check out my donations page. And as always, take care, y'all.